All right, guys, we have another most likely banger from Willard McElmeyer today. Uh, it's about Neon. And I guess Jack Doherty as well. Kind of interested. I don't know too. I mean, I've watched a little bit of this Neon guy. It's rough, rough stuff. But anyway, anyway, it's called Live Streamers Assault People uh, Then Hide Behind Their Security. Neon and Jack Doherty Ruined a Generation by Willie Mac Show. 2016, the top career in 2016, the top career choices for kids was veterinarian, teacher, and astronaut. By 2019, it was YouTubers and streamers. What's a Damn, it's it's such a bad listen. Here's the thing. It's not it's so sad because you see communities of people that really want to be very famous and oftentimes they try to put all of their might into that one thing that is a far it's it's a long shot um and it's not like consistent and you see it just ruin it ruined people you you really like it's cool to be an influencer kind of sometimes hard to be consistent hard to deal with comments hate comments and whatnot um and hard to deal with bursts of money coming in and not understanding your curve and then wasting like not knowing how to manage your money correctly. There's so many things like there's no like it's really no way to prepare you to be like a creator. And it's just not a good job choice. Like try to do something more productive. <laughs> Truthfully, it's terrible. Drama, let's make some drama. Yes! Like imagine that. Imagine your entire you making your entire life about drama. Like, oh man, I need more money. Let me create like this false situation of like drug. Like, that's it's insane. Why would you want to do that? That's b mind boggling. Your head is right here. You're slobbing on me so hard, dog. <laughs> and then imagine being like 30 plus, really 28 plus, and still doing drama type content too. Like, it's one thing when you're a kid doing it, but like, look at Fauci. Isn't he like 40? That's pathetic. Like, it's one thing for a 20-year-old to be doing fake controversy, and it's still pathetic. But, I mean, could you imagine being, like, a grown adult, a grown man still doing this stuff? Like, that's insane to me. It's like, you really got to get your, your shit together. It's pathetic. <laughs> this is a grown man. Whatever this grown man is doing, that's insane. <laughs> That would be like if you were almost 50 years old taking $20 worth of donations to eat dog food. It's like, that's pathetic. Like, how much do you feel like your life is worth at that point? You know what I mean? Personally, I don't know how long I could go on for. That can hurt me? No. I got a big that could hurt you a lot. There's an entire generation of kids who grew up with these clowns as their heroes. Clout goblins. And I think, though, that seeing these clout goblins like like Fousey or whatever his name is, Fousey, I don't know, which one, Fauci? <gasps> He's 33. All right. Well, he's all he it's, it doesn't matter. My point still stands. I think people are starting to go like, oh, maybe this influencer lifestyle isn't all it's cracked up to be like, this is the rubber band effect of like, oh, shit. And here's the bitter truth. This new generation is somehow worse, more cloud hungry, more degenerate. Subscribe to my OnlyFans right now. Corinne is a whole. I, I'm doubling down that in downright cringe. Lee, this is bad, right? Lee, don't give a f He's just horny chat. All right, I need you to empty, uh, empty God, some of those. Bad, this is bad. What is this? I don't know. No, empty no, no. them into my hand. Huh? Empty some of them in my hand. Oh, that's good. All right, we're going to see which one goes higher. In three, two. Wow. I mean, obviously, that's not the point of whatever this is. It's not to see which one goes higher. It's it, they could have bought them and done them at home. It's to be, see how obnoxious they can be before getting kicked out. Crazy. That one won. Stop. Stop. Clean up on aisle 12. What the fuck is that? I thought it was supposed to explode. No, these... I was really hoping that, um... I just wanted to see which one went higher. God, these guys are lame. I feel bad for the people that are working there that have to clean that up. Because I doubt that they're going to clean up themselves. They're just all such pathetic pieces of shit. Dying inside. And all I see are demons. These kids are growing up with the dream of being YouTubers. And some are willing to sacrifice everything to get there. If it means humiliating your girlfriend in front of thousands of people, cool. This is how women move. Women extract resources from men. A woman's biggest power is being able to know that she has more knowledge than her guy. Ne wow. Incredible. Neon doesn't know his worth, which you're exploiting right now. I mean, Neon looks like a fucking loser. I, why, why are we taking Myron seriously? This is the guy that told women that were sexually assaulted that it was their fault for choosing the wrong guy. I mean, this guy's an absolute worthless loser 
This is somebody who has talked about how pussy is disgusting, talked about how you shouldn't eat pussy, about how you should live with your friends. You shouldn't open up uh, emotionally to, to your girlfriends. Uh, the guy that's like has a bunch of videos of him kissing dudes or whatever or pictures of him cuddling with guys. I mean, this guy is gay and he hates himself. There's nothing wrong with being gay, but that's what he is. Like, why do people take him seriously? I mean, it's what, what is happening with the world? Let's say what? The, okay. No. No, I try worth, to help him see that. If he knows his worth, he would never take you seriously. That is true, actually. <laughs> Perfect. You would be a side chick. Only. Yeah. DM to dick. That's it. Nothing serious. Yeah. Women have no value, guys. <laughs> uh, incredible. This is why you know they're disconnected. Because every good man... Listen, here's the thing. Traditional men who think that a woman's role is to stay in the house, most of the time, their perspective will be that a woman is incredibly valuable to them in other ways. They take care of the home. They raise their kids. They listen to them when they're upset. And that's even too traditional for me because like women have more value than that. But even traditionalist men will generally tell you that like women are very valuable in that right. But they're just saying that women are completely valueless. Like this isn't even traditionalist. Like this is this is like closeted homosexuality turned into uh, w hating women because they blame women for their oppressive, you know, grow up, like whatever they learned growing up so, for some reason. Uh, and this is how it manifests. Like that's what it is. That's what it is. Because that's where it comes from. This guy's. I mean, that's where it comes from. Free watches. Free watches. Do you ever give you anything nice and expensive like that prior to our talk? No. Yeah. I'm just being honest. I'm not like that's fine. So think about that for a second. Anytime I've ever seen a girl gift a guy something nice I and expensive, she fucked up immensely. Yeah, bro, just leave her out to dry while you say absolutely nothing. Or taking a pull. Yeah, that's how you know he's a weak man because he won't defend his fucking girlfriend. Like that's pathetic. Oh man, I'm really, I'm really taking this advice so seriously. These resources so you can plug your stream as much as possible. Let's, let's flip a coin. Let's ask Siri. Let's ask Siri. Is this, is this your house? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? We're uh, not here to play games. Flip a coin. Or maybe the most infuriating, being annoyed in front of everyday people and then when you're confronted hide behind your security guards this guy's just annoying what well probably gonna do what you gonna do, what you gonna do? <laughs> this makes me irrational you gotta love it you gotta love uh performing like you're a tough guy and then having a bodyguard to do whatever that's incredibly angry. The subjects of today's video are Jack Doherty and Neon. They are both 19 years old and they use that as a shield constantly. I'm a little kid and it gets in my head some shit, bro. I'm 19. 19, motherfucker. 11 years no old. No weird shit, gang. You was a fucking cornball. They True. <laughs> I mean, they are, they're 19, but mentally they're like 15 years old. That's a, a huge problem. They're uh, insane. Both act like they're really cool, but one looks like Minecraft Steve, and the other one is Neon. Both of these guys always aim to be YouTubers. There's footage of them from when they're 13 years old hustling. To this I mean, that's where the mental disorder of wanting to be a YouTuber starts, no? All I want to be when you're 13. That's the thing, is that they don't want to be specific things. Like, there are people who, like, maybe you're like, oh, I want to be a... Pokemon YouTuber, okay. Or maybe I want to be a Fortnite YouTuber. Okay, I would argue that that's not that bad. But you just want to be a YouTuber. All they want is success, and they'll do anything to get that success. There's no boundaries or parameters onto like how they will orchestrate their YouTube career. So they just turn into like absolute fucking goblins. This day, Jack's most popular video is I flipped all of these. Uh, let's go, dude. He's already got the YouTube thumbnail face down at 13. Now, I think these old videos from Jack are actually pretty cool. It's showing his work ethic, him building a skill set, and him putting himself out there in these uncomfortable situations. When he was 13, he challenged girls to kiss him if he did a backflip. It's a cute video. <laughs> I mean, that's silly. Okay, you challenged girls to kiss him if he did a backflip. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, these videos have 10 and 29 million views respectively. But as the oh. years passed, it would- Well, then it, he, that seems to be his thing is just being kind of like the, oh, the kid that does a thing. And then now he becomes older, so he's no longer that. Turning to him bothering Walmart employees, breaking balls, making a mess, and then playing victim when he gets kicked out. Look at that, he- I'm, Overall, I'm really happy about the way the atmosphere is turning against prank YouTubers because they're fucking annoying as shit. Like, it's very difficult to do a prank that's not incredibly, like, obnoxious to this degree where it's usually just harassing employees. So I'm really happy that, that this is where things are, are going towards. Because prank YouTubers are so fucking annoying. Like, you could be like, oh, Papa God, you don't really do much. You just, you know, but yeah, sure. You want to argue I'm lazy or whatever, low effort, I don't care. 
But we're talking about people who are legitimately obnoxious. Just like three balls on the bottom. Look at that. Yo, I need you to get out the store. What? I need you to get out the oh, store. Oh, sorry, I was just playing around. Off the chain. You need to get out the store. All right, stop and we'll just buy some. You need to get out the store. Don't don't take pictures of me. I'll break your camera. <laughs> I doubt I'm 15. I don't, care, I don't care if you're 15. Everybody. I mean, I don't know. This is what I'm saying. Like, we need to bring back child abuse. <laughs> Beat the shit out of this. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke, YouTube. But, you know. Kid needs to get, this kid's an asshole. Yeah. You, re you respect me. All right. And you respect me. Oh, hey! Ricky! <laughs> Ricky! Ricky! So I just want to say this. I think it's so interesting because, you know, I, I don't condone violence. You know what I mean? But also, like, legally, but morally, I condone, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, talk shit, get hit. Like, okay. Well, I did have the right to freak out because, as you will see later on, he put his hands around my neck. And you can see the marks. He scratched me. He even punched me in the stomach trying to reach for my camera, trying to, like... I don't know. Where's this kid's parents? How come, how come Jack Doherty's parents are so fucking worthless? Like, how come this Jack Doherty kid's parents are absolutely fucking worthless pieces of shit? I mean that 100%. You're going to let your kid go around Walmarts at 15 harassing people? He posts it to the internet and you're not moderating that? What kind of a fucking parent are you? You're a loser. You are the you are objectively a bigger loser than your child going around and doing this stuff. What kind of a, a loser are you? Like, what are you talking about? How, how does this even happen? My mom would beat me violently if I ever did stuff like this. If I was ever disrespectful, my mom would kick my ass. Where, what's going on with you? What, what is happening? Where are the parents? What, does this kid live in a fucking orphanage? It doesn't make any sense to me. Does he live in a fucking... Does he live in a fucking... Uh, where does he live? Like he's living in a group home? What What is happening? Oh my God. And you let him walk out of the house with that fucking hair too? That's insane. That's child abuse. That's fucking child abuse. Like, let it get me to let it go. And keep in mind, he's like probably 40 or 40 years old at least, maybe even 50, and he's punching a 15 year old, choking Good. him and stuff. So, Jack Good. just framed it as if he got <laughs> choked out by a Walmart employee. Despite what Jack just said, there is no footage of that happening. Where are the choke marks, Jack? Give me my camera. <laughs> you don't record me. I was not recording you. Yes, you were. It was not going. Yes, it was. Jack is just lying. This video is from 2019. <laughs> Jack is 15 years old here, but I would argue that he hasn't matured a day since then. His videos would borderline become dangerous. He would rent a U-Haul, turn the back into a slip and slide, and then drive it around, knocking himself out. Punk Bros did this and there was matches. Well, I guess, I guess God isn't real because he only knocked him out. In here, we have no matches. Yeah, that sounds smart. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? This is why he has a square <laughs> face. This would lead to Jack doing the best <laughs> trip possible in 2020, and that would be going on Dr. Phil. Really, this episode is Dr. Phil telling Jack that he's wasting the police time with his pranks. I'm the craziest kid in the world. So I've kind of gotten into the trouble with the police, but usually it's just a slap on the wrist. Last month I did a video where I went walking around drinking fake beer and I pranked the cops that I was drunk. My stomach hurts. I'm gonna puke so bad. Maybe you should be drinking beer. The police handcuffed me, threw me in the back of a cop car, and detained me for over an hour. Looking back on it, it was extremely worth it because I got a great video and never went to jail. You see any problem wow. with that? It's not a problem with that. I just thought it was a good opportunity for the prank because they weren't really doing anything. They were just in a circle talking. That's seven cops talking to you and there may be somebody getting mugged or raped or something 10 blocks over and they don't have police protection because you're scamming seven cops over here and so yeah. there's not police coverage somewhere else because they're jacking with well i mean and they were just talking well this kid wouldn't care about that because this kid probably this has i considering he has no boundary issues in his real life i doubt he'd have any boundary issues when it comes to something going on with women either so. I circle like nothing is going on. Yeah, well, you, you don't or know that. he'd have any boundaries with that. Like, I don't think he doesn't understand shit. Uh, when you absorb lot. resources, then others are deprived of those resources is my point. But the real meat of the video is Jack's obsession with fame, willing to push the boundaries as far as possible. When God gives you these opportunities, take them, milk. 
of them and just rile her up as much as possible and little does she know she's giving me what I want. This was about two years ago and Jack has only gotten worse. His new grift is to start fights with random people and then hide behind his bodyguard. Sweat. Well, probably gonna do. What you gonna do? This bodyguard's pathetic too. Like, don't you? Don't you? Do you feel bad for this bodyguard? Do you feel like a pathetic loser for just being part of some like pathetic baiting bullshit? Like your dumb little fucking uh, boss walks up and tries to be like, uh, tries to goad people into attacking him, and then you go, "What? I'll fight you instead." Like, uh, you don't feel pathetic about that? A loser. <laughs> Dude, I this per this fuck the bodyguards are pathetic too. Like what a loser. You're gonna act like a tough guy for the camera after after your fucking your child boss harasses somebody? Like you feel like a like a fucking sixty year old? You feel like a tough guy for that one? Oh, I'm gonna beat you up. You're just as bad. You're just as much of a loser as them. You're pathetic. These people are fucking pathetic. This is a resort. People are trying to chill and relax. You know my dad owns this place, right? No, you're the clown. You didn't have to say anything. That came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, you can stop looking your hands down. Sometimes it leads to legitimate assault. Right, so don't be throwing that. Man, listen, bro. What, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, what are we doing? No, I'm just. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are you here? Hold on, hold on. What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Same walk. Yeah. Wait, chill, chill. No, no, no. Just back up. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm just saying, y'all saying. Yo, just stop. Tell him stop. Tell him stop. Tell him stop. Oh. What a fucking loser. That guy. What a piece of shit. They're all such losers. Holy shit. Bro, there are just like a select few people on the on the planet that genuinely we would be better off without. I'm telling you, Jack Doherty and his bodyguards and his parents are some of them. We'll touch back on this later. The only time I've seen Jack apologize for anything is when he was on Dr. Phil and Dr. Phil was roasting him for bothering his neighbor. Have you ever apologized to Rachel? I'm 100% willing to apologize to her right now. Rachel, I am sorry for uh, uh, riding my dirt bike by her house, but I, you could I also could have posted her face on the internet also because I wasn't on her proper or anything like okay, that. We're, we're, I'm looking for the apology in there. Oh. Jack immediately tries to turn his apology into a YouTube video. Rachel, can we, could I bring Jack to your house one day to apologize? Yeah, I'm down. I'll bring you a gift basket yeah. and some toys for your kids. How about okay. that? That I'd like to do. Yeah, I'll take him on a shopping spree. Oh, great. It's yeah. not about... It's I'm not, not saying it's not. You guys are just constantly to trying. I'm trying to be it's nice. It's about being genuine. Oh my I get god, that. I'm being attacked for everything. I feel like his dad would buy a gift basket for Jack to give to her, and Jack would turn it into content as well as a segment for Dr. Phil, kind of proving everything he said about Jack was true. Basically, Dr. Phil wants me to apologize to the camera. I tried apologizing to her, as you guys saw over the phone. It was just very complicated because I feel like I don't have to apologize. I'm just doing this to make Dr. Ooh. Phil happy, and you know, free publicity for me. I'm doing this to make Dr. Oh, Phil. Happy. I don't understand. Like, why don't his parents beat him with a belt? I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I understand like everything's child abuse now, but dude, sometimes like that's the only effective, like clearly Jack is one of the very few people that needs to be beat by his parents. Like what the fuck? Like this, what are you kidding me? You let your kid act like this. You're a loser and he's a loser too. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, not because uh, I really want to apologize to her. You know, I really don't. I don't really care. Then don't apologize. The secondhand embarrassment I get from watching him is insane. There she is, boys. How Hello. You How are you? We got a present for you. We got your gift basket. To apologize. To apologize. All right, Dr. Phil, we got the gift basket and the sorry note. Thank you so much, Jack. I'm sorry and... Uh, have a blessed day. It's not a genuine gift. It never is with him. It always has to be content. It's content brain rot. In a gift basket, everyone knows if you want to get a quality gift, you get a Ridge wallet. The holidays are here. <laughs> and I'm sure we all still have someone on our list that is a pain to buy gifts for. Well, let me introduce you to Ridge. Ridge is a slim, slick, durable wallet made out of quality material. Check out the Ridge wallet, guys. 30 different colors and designs. Dude, made out of long getting the jingle out of the key ring experience. All right, buy, buy the wild guys. 50% uh, off willybridge.com slash Willie Mac Show. This holiday season at ridge.com slash Willie Mac Show for 30% off. Thank you, Ridge, for sponsoring this video. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, how Jack is somehow <coughs> worse today than when he was Annie a kid. But this just gifted one memberships. Hey, thank you so much for the gifted membership, brother. Much appreciated.
video isn't just about Jack. It's about how social media fame stunts these kids' growth permanently. And Neon is also an amazing case study for this. Neon was an NBA 2K gaming YouTuber who struggled to Sunshine pass a thousand views. Sunshine became a member. Hey, thank you so much for the Oh, that's still gifted. Well, I still thank you for getting the membership. Whatever. The video. So Neon's solution to this is to oh, fake shit. having cancer. It was an all text video uploaded by Neon's brother saying he was in critical condition. He'd follow Angie this up with a video titled chatted one dollar and ninety nine cents. Yeah. Stop being old, Papa. This is funny as ha ha ha. Yeah, you're right. I'm right. I'm sorry. Neon's final words, which remember he was in critical condition just two days earlier. You guys can still see me. For a little bit until like like you know if the surgery doesn't go well because if the surgery why did why would you let your kid upload this i don't understand where are the parents you let your kid upload this video what are you kidding me ha, get it what is what happened what happened to parents what happened to the good old days where you used to get hit with a hard plastic phone if you talked too loud? I'm not trying to be an asshole, but every day I'm reminded that maybe things weren't as bad as we used to say that they were and that maybe some stuff needs to come back just some of it not all of it not all of it but some of it maybe like a little bit of it like just like a little bit of it just like a, a small amount of it because this is crazy to me it's just crazy to me it does not go well i'll bleed out to death good and no, if that that's happens, bad you know Sorry. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Oh no, that's terrible. His next video would be that he died. Yeah, he bled out to death from cancer. Rip Neon, 2004 to 2019. But wait, the final captivating video in this series is I'm Alive. It's a miracle. I was gonna get surgery on it. I got surgery on it. And the options when I took got the surgery was either I was gonna bleed out to death, I was gonna survive. It was like a 50-50. So okay. it was just a really emotional time and I, I wasn't posting any videos or anything. So the really? surgery was two days ago. I've been resting, relaxing the past two days. Two, the surgery was two days ago. I mean, we already know it's fake, but this he doesn't even look anything like he's been in any surgery. <laughs> This is incredible. Now, these videos were huge, getting nearly a million views. And much like Jack's early videos... Did people actually believe it? Dude, that's fucking crazy. They really aren't that big of a deal. It's just dumb kid stuff. But they were consistently rewarded for their poor behavior. Views above all. We got 400 viewers! We got 400 viewers! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus Christ gifted 10,000 memberships. Whoa, Jesus Christ. How do you even have enough money for all those memberships? Maybe Frekazoid all those donations. Just gifted five memberships. Is that real? I feel like you guys are trolling me right now. What's happening here? I'm so confused. The dirty bubble became a member. Oh, wait, that's real. The last one is real. Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships, Freakazoid. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Five memberships! I'm, I actually appreciate it uh, tremendously. I'm just uh, playing a thing. I needed to log out for a second. Get someone to the Patreon. Oh my god! He's oh. contested. Yo, but like, Senator, I'm so sorry. I'm selling your record right now. Oh oh. Damn! Look at that chair. It's so much bigger than him. Oh my god! Oh my god! I need to tell my mom. I'll be back. I'm telling my mom. I'm so happy. I got 400 viewers. I gotta go tell my mom. He's a kid. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm just being rude to like a kid, but it's <laughs> like, you gotta stay. You gotta stay there, bro. If you don't stay there, then they're not gonna be as interested. So now as adults, they've turned into the worst, most annoying people. I knocked James out with one punch. Yeah, yep, yep, he had enough the sandwich for lunch. Neon's Ooh, brand would become him. just like Jack's, being the biggest yapper. I don't know who in their right mind is you first off second off if i wanted to i could easily your bitch and i put that on my mother's life wallahi you i don't think you got it in you yeah i don't got it in me i will beat your ass bro at some point he finally got confronted by another youtuber for talking all this trash and was forced to upload this embarrassing video i'm a bitch i'm not who i say i'm on the internet <laughs> i'll never step foot in chicago or oblock ever again trey is my father i am trey's bitch. trey runs me everyone go sub to trey from the o1 youtube my mom's a Blossom bitch, my dad's a bitch, I'm a membership. Hey, thank you so much for the gifted membership. You guys are going crazy tonight. You don't have to do that. Or not, it's not tonight, I don't know why I said it tonight. Bitch. <laughs> everyone in my family's a bitch. Project and I'm sorry Blossom to everyone who I offended on the internet. I'm not okay. who I say I am. I'm not a gangster. I'm not hood. I'm, I'm not a, a IRL. I'm not about shit. I'm sorry, guys. Damn, what did this, what did some, they really broke him on this one. <laughs> this is so funny, though. And I'm Trey's <laughs> bitch. 
Is that good? So would Neon finally learn his lesson good? and tone it back? No, of course not, because he would get jumped again for the same thing just this past year. Neon is really blown up from being an Aiden Ross orbiter. He's brought on to be a clown. His Damn. most viral clip was with Andrew Tate. I have a question. Did you actually do it, bro? No. Neon. What the f***? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just making sure, bro. You know Damn. he didn't, though, bro. You know he didn't. Oh, he obviously did do it. But... I know. I know. I know. Will you do something for me or not, Aiden? Okay, Mikhail, can you come with me, bro? You're my best friend. We have to go to Chile. Yes, I'll come with you. I got you. Are there, <laughs> so are there, bad, are there, are there bad bitches there? I don't know. Oh. I, I don't know. If, if there are, I don't know if you'll be able to find them or if, if they'll talk to you. The point is, Aiden said <laughs> you do know who I am? No, I don't. I'm sorry. So you're telling me a girl is fucking all ass over me. Is that SpongeBob on your t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Why am I talking to these children? You guys okay, you take your you take your inhaler, G. That'll turn the girls on. Right. Aiden. While he's busy with his inhaler because he can't seem to handle air without assistance. You tell me if you're going to do something for me like you promised you would, or if you're simply lying. Look, they're all friends, it's all in good fun, but he can't turn it off. He does this to complete strangers. I want a black haircut. Like, what's like, what's like a good haircut, bro? What's like a black haircut? Typical, like, hood rat, drug dealer haircut. Listen, Hydra, don't get f***ed up in here. But what the f*** is a black haircut? I'm about to say the word. This guy's going to fuck him up, dude. Dude, what are you <laughs> Oh, Lord. I don't give a shit, bro. I'm about to say the f***ing word. Your ass. Little you better go, bro. Take the shit. What's that? Oh, my God. Come on, Zach, bro. I was kidding, bro. All right. Stay at the game, bro. He's done this to people who are gang members, mockingly throwing <laughs> up gang signs, leading to him getting jumped again. Hey, look whose shoes we got. Got, that got his ass down. lacking. Come on, bro. <laughs> Good. Bro. Got, got his way. ass lacking. You know, if he actually looked like a grown adult, they'd, they'd probably kill him, too. Like, that's the thing. Like, they would, they would probably beat him to death if he was an actual adult. Um, so he's lucky to look like a little manlet. Yeah. Hey, what size y'all want? Hey, you see what we did with his shirt. Look at his shirt. shirt. Ripped all type of stuff, boy. You know not to come around here talking like that. Yeah. Hey, flick me up, flick me up. Hey, oh, we on his ass. Come on, bro. Take his glasses off. How much they gonna sell for? Come on, bro. YouTube money. We taking all of that. Hey, and we keeping your phone, boy. We taking a video right on your phone. I'm not playing with you, say. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. You know, I'm not a particular big, particularly big fan of gang members, but in this case, I will make an exception. Hey, you a f Come on, bro. Yeah, Neon would learn his lesson this time, but not by changing his ways. He would simply hire security to hide behind. This guy named Derek pressed Neon because Neon kept calling him gay. If you're mad, mad about me calling you gay, you won't go, 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 go. Damn, all these guys are like internet tough guys that just hire bodyguards. This is pathetic. It's like the new meta. <laughs> this would only embolden Neon to keep making fun of gangs, putting his entire team in danger. He was getting warning videos telling him to leave LA. Hey, it's a PSA. Oh, Any shit. Say f the homies and what they stand for. That ain't no gangbanger. We ain't respecting it, nigga. On the hood, Neon, nigga. On 6 so you see what happened after you dissed the homie, nigga. On the dead homies, boy. Stop playing with the set. Stop playing with nigga, the neighborhood, period, nigga. Cuz ain't from 60th Street, from 55th Street. That's right down the street. Same fingers, though. Nigga. Dead homies, cuz. Nigga talking about cuz of what he stand for and all that, nigga. You see how niggas get up on you later on, nigga. Stop playing, nigga. Call Adam by 12 noon. If you don't call Adam by 12 noon, we own your ass. Is this why he did the crybaby apology? Is that what it is? Oh, six, so we giving you eviction notice. Don't be late. His team will then get stream sniped and jumped while going to a party. Well, like, the company is well known. What the f Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Close the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Oh my God! Harassing gang members. Who could have? Who could have thought that this was? Uh, what, what a dumb thing to do. Who would have thought that harassing a gang member would be a terrible idea? I never personally would have thought of that. Of that. It's like, how do you predict something like that? It's incredible. What the f was that? What the f was that, Mikhail? Oh my God! They're literally boogieing right now. 
Angi Toasty Super Chatted $4.99. <sighs> Papa, this is the type of content you need to start doing. <sighs> You're right. Imagine you and Mama got trolling around New York. <sighs> yeah, harassing gang members. Sounds like a smart idea, huh? What the Neon was in the car, so he was fine, but the cameras for the Airbnb would show his team getting absolutely mugged. Neon! Jesus. Kane, Neon's manager, would then message everyone saying that they're fired for letting him get beat up all alone. Lee fired. John fired. Good guys. I mean, I'd want to be fired at this point, too. <laughs> like, why would you even want to be working there? Fire me. But done working for us. Woo <sighs> slash moo. You looked out for yourself in that situation. Not your team. Not your I would too. You know, here's the thing about like needing security. For the most part, you only need security guards um, to like get, get rid of crazy people who are acting unhinged. Not gang members that you're provoking. Why would you even want to be like, oh, I get paid. I, why would you take a job being a security guard? You're putting your life in danger. This person's fucking threatening gang members. You know how stupid this person is? Your brothers. But did your own thing. I don't care if it's fight or flight. Save the excuses. Bro, you're mad at the wrong guy. Neon's the reason this happens because he doesn't shut his mouth. People can say I'm victim blaming all they want, but he's literally starting beef with gang members. But at a certain point, talk shit, get hit. Neon's not sitting there trying to give constructive criticism or documenting anything. He's just being disrespectful. And now he's being threatened not to come to New York. I know people from New York who are really like, for me. And they told me, yo, if Neon comes to, if Neon comes to New York, like it's actually gonna be bad. And then telling them, not them, but yeah, it's- I don't want him here. There's one person I specifically know, but like telling him like, yeah, that's, he's just, he's a troll, he's a troll like that, this and that. I'm like, and I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, I bet you, I promise you nothing's gonna happen to him. He's gonna have a security guard. He's telling me, bro, I'm like, give a f about security. None of that sh I swore, Pretty yo, chat on my mom, like, on some real shit, like, on my mom's life. On my mom's life. During Fuzzy's last manic episode, he got crazy into God to the point where he would cry while praying. Wow. Ya yeah, Allah, I'm gonna do better now. I have nothing to do. I don't have to do what I used to do anymore, Ya yeah, Allah. This guy's a fucking it's insane. I will not be in clubs with women, Ya yeah, Allah. I will not be talking to disgusting woman. Yeah, super virtuous. Point is, this is common <laughs> for people going through a manic episode, and Neon's response is to pick at Fousey's religion, baiting a reaction. I'm looking at that, bro. No, you honestly need to get your ass kicked. Those people at, in the park should have beat your f***ing ass. You haven't got your ass kicked yet. I got my ass kicked by Slim and Deji. Deserve and deserve. No Yusuf. wonder. No wonder. I've, I've seen 10 people in ISIS named Yusuf. That's a prophet's name, you f***ing stupid No, it's idiot. not. Yes, it is. Prophet Yusuf, sallallahu <laughs> That's a prophet's name, you dumbass. I mean, not for nothing. I have no sympathy for Fousey here. Like, this is the type of content that he makes, just like, provoking people into a response. He knows the deal. So I don't know why we would feel bad for him. He loves this. I need security on God. Because if I had a security guard right there, you were not doing that. I swear yeah, because you're a pussy and you need security to be able to talk shit, just like you do behind you the do internet. You do too, look. You have Twitter fingers. Yo, <laughs> you go like 20 feet away, I don't need you for two seconds. And look how quick he does it. Yo, this is crazy, bro. This Listen. is Crazy. What's funny is he actually would end up getting security. You let words get to your head, bro. No, because words, words matter. No, they don't. Yes, they Actions do. Actions matter. If I punch you in the face, then it's bad. Neon, Neon, the sh you say behind your computer, your keyboard, where you feel safe, you're going to get your ass beat when a real one comes up to you. Still waiting for the day. Still waiting for the day. It's never gonna happen, I promise you. All I know is when that day finally comes, Neon will not be able to defend himself. Yeah, imagine Neon actually gets, like, killed in some capacity because of his words, and then no one's gonna feel bad for him. Like, could you imagine that? Get on your hands and knees. 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 You Arabian psychopath. Take it, bro. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, my heart. Say sorry. My heart. Everyone chill. My heart. He just called me a dumb... I'm 33 years old. There's no point. Yeah, you are 33 years old. Like, not for nothing, there's another issue, too. You're 33 years old, and this guy's provoking you into it, hitting him. Like, you're both pathetic. You're 33. If, if some kind of obnoxious shit like this happened, I'd walk away. I'm also 33 years old. I have a wife. I'm pushing to have kids. I have a career. I have things to do. My wife has... My, my life has value. So, like, I'm not going to get provoked by some dumb little kid into, like, fighting somebody. That's pathetic. You're all pathetic. You're fucking all losers. He doesn't, listen, you're 35, get a grip of your life, man, holy. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I said that's exactly what I'm trying to teach you. He's lucky he's just a f***ing 
like me tapping I respect him, him for standing up, but at the same no, time. No. He's lucky he's just a f like me tapping him on the chest. Like one day he's gonna talk to the oh. wrong one like that and he's gonna get fed up. Yeah, he's dead. Neon's problem is that he talks too much. Jack's problem is that he's a complete degenerate. He sold his soul to the <coughs> internet. He will go to parties and just film drunk, passed out women. But hey, follow me on Kick Guys. It's been a lit stream so far, right? So I did. Yo, hey, are you good? No, okay, shut the f up. Whoa. Are my you taking feelings. content? Are you taking content? We're taking content. We're oh taking my content. god, you're taking shut the f up. This is my bitch. She's good. Hey, chat, what do we think about her? Let's show her what you guys said. Is you going to feed her some water? Because why are you taking clothes Not out to my that friend? Not Stop. Look, hey, yo, really watch. Stop. This is what they're saying about you. Oh, my God. That's so cute. Stop. 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 Look, watch. Is this woman, like, legitimately dying or something in front of them? Like, what's happening? I don't care what they're saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why are you... Is she, like... Is she, uh, like, alcohol poisoning or whatever right now? What the fuck's happening? Live streaming this. You're not... Oh, Am I? Yes, you're not. You, you want water? How are you? Are that. you 19? Go away. I'm 20. You're you not. Oh, yeah, I'm 20. giving her my water. Why are you taking the video? Why are you taking You're right. I'm only taking for the video. You I just want to go away. Incredible uh, security. I want to look good now after that. No, I'm kidding. Fuck you. Fucking hell. Fucking first thing she said to me was, I'm 12. You're a whore. Hey. I don't give a is the security gonna punch uh, the girls too? Yeah. You guys cry. Go. Oh no, avert. No. Okay. No. Wait. Wait. Uh, uh, you hurt my feelings. It's just don't film somebody when she's drunk. That's I get that. Just because I don't want to see that the next day and be like embarrassed. You know, like it's that's not, all. How many of y'all gonna say the same fucking thing, huh? No, I'm kidding. No, because you guys all want to pitch in because you're girls and you guys don't know what to do besides being drama. Oh, got him. These girls always trying to be in drama. Not like Jack Doherty, who is never in drama. <clears throat> Have a good day. I, I get like the whole like uh, thing, but just like do I know. you know? They want to end up on a good note. Hey, have a good night. <laughs> get right. Attitude, assholes. Jack, they're right. How are you, the victim? Corinna. Corinna. Corinna's a whore. I, I'm doubling down. F that bitch. I don't know how Jack's calling anyone a whore. He literally does OnlyFans himself. He sells his nudes to a bunch of- Ew, that's gotta be child porn. Like, that's disgusting. Gay guys, but whatever. Jack <clears throat> and his crew would find Corinna again and go up to her. Her friends would then confront Jack. I said, Corinna called? What did I say? I don't know. She said, she said, she said you was talking- How, uh, and I don't know. I'm she live stream. She, I don't know. Uh, would you say so? Go look at my live stream. I don't know, but baby, I don't got your live stream. Hold yeah, up. I'm sorry. You'll never know. I heard you called her a- Damn! And then I said, ah, I was like, wait, we got a lot of- I heard! That's what I heard! Like, so then Jack's security guard gets involved, and it just escalates. Are you here? Hey, hold on, hold on. So, like, are they, are they suing the security? Like, what's happening to the security guards? They should all be arrested. Yeah! What are we doing? Hey, what are we doing? Hey, hey yo! Hey, what are you fighting? Us two versus you two. All right, go! I'm running! Jack then lies to Corinna about calling her a whore. Are you mad at me? Wait, wait, now you want to talk. Talk about me then. Wait, yeah, even. Yeah, I don't see someone talking that, shit. Just because I'm at a party and I don't want to talk to you, you say that no, 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 I'm just an no, no, no. OnlyFans whore. That's not what it was. That's, that's literally what it was. Okay, wait, wait. I literally got sent a clip in the middle of a party. Oh, really? I just like, just because I'm at a party. No, wait, I'm at a party. I don't want to be on a street. And when Corinna's friend tells Jack security to walk away, he gets mad and sucker punches the guy. Oh, wait, chill, chill. No, no, no. Just back up. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. I'm just saying, y'all say you No, just stop. Tell him stop. Tell him stop. Oh, oh, huge pussy. These guys should get arrested. Jack as well. Oh no, yo, stop, stop. Why is Jack bringing a guy around that he knows will do this? Oh, stop, tell him stop, tell him stop, trust, tell him stop. Now this is completely out of pocket from Jack's security, but Jack couldn't be happier. It's great <laughs> content. Yeah, he gets to put it on the internet. Funny enough, he gets to try to incriminate his bodyguard too. That's how fucking stupid this guy is. That they just assaulted this guy. Remember, subscribe. This is crazy. Oh my God. Holy f guys. Everyone follow me on kick. What the f just happened? Jack acts like he's invincible because the security will bail him out of everything. He walks around the mall like a goblin, getting in people's faces. What? 
Little prompt, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Little prompt? Dude, he's so tough. Just recently, he went to the mall and was asked to stop recording. Jack did it. So mall security asked him to leave, and in return, his security was about to fight the guard. Guys, he called about her over there. They're over there. Oh, they're over there. I'm just telling you, you're not allowed to do this on mall property. Oh. Uh yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. The mall gets to decide whether you do or don't do stuff like this. Oh. But I think the guys aren't allowed to do it on mall property over there. No, no, no. I'm talking to you. Oh. I'll talk to them. Put your stuff up. Okay. All right. We'll go. We'll leave. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. All right, we'll put it down. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll take a picture. Hey, the guys. I mean, at this point, the mall security, they should have called the cops and trespassed him and not allowed him on there anymore. Like, it's, and it's unfortunate because, like, the people who run the mall... Uh, and the security guards, they're not understanding that this is like a big stupid troll and this is the response that he wants. So they're almost playing into it. They're playing into it unintentionally. They should have, they needed to call the police and they needed to trespass this guy from the property permanently. No problem. Look, sir, the kids love me. Let me be, please. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to ask you one more time. I said we were leaving. Okay, I'm going to follow you out. We're leaving, bro. Like, relax. We're going to talk. Get that shit out of my face. Or, Get out of my face! Or what? Okay, well, okay. yeah. So give me back. Watch out. <laughs> Fucking tough guy security guard. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna your fucking your little your white little boyfriend's gonna sit there and antagonize like a 60 year old mall security guard, and then you're gonna act like a fucking tough guy. Like what a loser. What an absolute fucking loser. You said you were gonna you're gonna take his stuff. You're gonna touch him. Fucking loser. Holy shit. Don't touch him. Took the mic because he put it in my face. I didn't put it in your face. Yes, you I did. Why is your boy pressing this old man? You have to be socially stunted. Jack's favorite move is hiding behind a security, saying he wants to fight while not actually wanting to fight. You want to do this? You want to do this? We'll do it the right way. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. I'll fight you right now. Oh, uh, what is this? One of the island boys? They're all so pathetic. But somehow Jack is more pathetic. Come on, we're the, we're the gloves, let's fight. Oh, let him fight me! <laughs> I already fought you! No, he did not. I'm sitting here like, are you guys gonna fight or not? Cause nothing is happening. I'll be his ass when we all so know it. Clearly, we're about to. I'm with the gloves. So it's box, he doesn't want to. With the gloves, he knows he'll get rocked. Let's do it. Fight you with the you gloves, know you'll get rocked. Let's do it. Let's I go. Like Jack, he's agreed like 50 times. Go get the gloves. Jack then comes up with an excuse for why he can't box. I'll box out the gloves. Line them up and let's yeah, yeah, yeah. do it. We're going to Miami. We're boxing another day. The next stream is going to be me boxing this motherfucker. Yeah, we're not doing it tonight. There's no reason to do it tonight. We'd rather have it on like a day with day. He has to say sorry for spitting on us because he spit on us like seven times. I'm not taking that. You can get the fuck out. I'm not getting spit on again. Imagine being this pressed by an island boy. Let's box. I'm going to box you again. You just, <laughs> you just want to do sneak shit. That's what you're trying to get in my house for. He's trying to box you. You're the one saying no. Jack is getting grilled by his threats, so now he has to go outside, but he only gets close when his security is in the way. So the island boy says screw it and hits Jack anyway, and then Jack starts crying. Oh, how do I donate money to the island boy, by the way? I'm not kidding. How do I give money to this island boy? I want to I wanna give him... I want to give this guy money. The island boy money. I gotta watch it again. Oh, ah, he, he censors it, dude. I know he has to, but that's fucking great. <laughs> this man's holding. Look, he started crying, dude. <laughs> Listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna talk shit like that, if you're gonna beg for a fight, you you can't cry tears. Jack's response is then to get mad at everyone else for not protecting him. Told you guys he won't, he won't fight me fair and all you guys try to say all this He won't fight me fair. That's why I need 10 of you guys in the way. Because that's a fair fight. You guys are like none of you guys listen to what I had to say. He, someone came up to me and was like he's going to sneak you and all you guys were saying all this bullshit that like he's not going to do it. Look, we're going to try to sneak you. He flew. L security. L security. Oh, you're all losers. You should all you should all join a cult that with the end game of drinking apple juice. <laughs> Once this kid has a fully developed brain, he'll look back and realize this. No, he won't. He's never going to have a fully developed brain. This this kid is stunted in his growth. What's gonna happen is he's gonna turn thirty and realize that he's a fucking loser that nobody respects, and he's gonna off himself. That's what's going to happen. Like he's not he's not gonna he's not gonna get older and go, wow, that was really stupid. He's not a normal person like the rest of us. He's a fucking clout goblin that got rich at a young age. He's a loser. Oh my god. Are you
What did I do? I literally told you. You oh got me with four guys on the yacht. This is the dream job kids want. Not to be a veterinarian, not to be an astronaut, it's to be Jack Doherty. Jack's other favorite self-defense strategy is saying, I'm only 19. Look how much older you are than me. You are really old. I'm 19. You're trying so hard. You're 25. You're, you're, if I was you, you've been calling me bitch all night. I ain't call you no bitch all one time. Bro, you know, this guy's 25. Come on, we ain't done yet. No, I've never been acting since I'm 25. When I'm 25, right. I've never been acting a day in my life, but he's just getting started. But it's okay, that's why he's so mad at me. Win, I win every fight. You can f You might win against me, right? You're gonna beat your ass. Because he's fucking 10 years, 12 years older than me and weighs way more than me. Duh. 25 years old. I'm young. I'm allowed to be a retard. Jack's K. Hey. <laughs> you can't use that word, bro. Stop. Camera guy then pulls this drug addict off him while they were wrestling, and Jack pushes him into a girl. I'm gonna do his drug him. What? You fed no, you fat. Yo, give him a fuck. Yeah, get wrecked, buddy. You fat. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you. Damn, he's getting beat by a pillow, dude. Jack is getting his ass kicked by a literal pillow. That's got to be a sign, dude. There's no way. That's embarrassing for you. The guy is clobbering you with a pillow like it's a fucking steel chair, and it's actually being effective. It's like if he fucking blew a gust of wind at you, or a, he just went onto you and you got hurt. This is insane. You're sheltering yourself from a pillow. So then Jack tries kicking him out, saying he hit her. Who hit? Who hit? I didn't hit her. Bro, yes, you did. Right on you, fat. Jack threw him at her. Yeah, he pushed action who fell on her. So that's still not a, that's not action fault though. It's who not fought? my fault. I didn't push her. He shouldn't have fucked. Logic is that? I, I don't know. I said we asked McKinley whose fault. That's was. not. That's not. It's, no, no. It's his fault. Run back the clip. He could have fell the opposite way. This is the biggest group of window lickers. I have. How's his work? Run back the clip. You're gonna feel the opposite way. This guy just like lies for a living. He's pathetic. Ever seen? Prime this whole time <laughs> is just trying to slap Jack. The moment he gets away from his security, that opportunity did present itself. <laughs> Wait, who did that? Security. That opportunity ever seen? Prime this whole time is just trying to slap Jack. The moment he gets away from his security, that opp good opportunity did present itself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's incredible. Violence is never the answer. Oh, yeah. the I told you. I told you, bitch. You're 25. Yeah. You're 25, dude. Got him, Jack. Now, the cops were already outside because Jack was just swatted 20 minutes before. So now Jack starts to act real tough again, but only when the cops get involved. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Hold on. Well, you going to go to jail, boy. You know why you? Come on. You know why you? I'll, I'll bail that guy out. What's his name? I'll help him out. I'll bail him out. Oh. This is sad. Is Jack into BDSM or something? He's just been slapped by another man. He's shirtless, not a single hair on his chest, the smallest <laughs> nipples I have ever seen, and he thinks that now is a good time to promote his OnlyFans. At this point, I mean, it probably is. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? All these OnlyFans people do like preposterous shit just to get money, you know? The police are already pissed because they've been there all night due to swattings, but Jack doesn't care. He's just there to waste their time. Anything for views. Listen, listen, come here. So, what's Jack, your go? Yo. Hey, I'm getting hella views off this shit, though. For real. Uh, uh, he he slapped me. He wants to f sneak yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, he I said the N word earlier. Right? We all make hey, mistakes. Listen, I said listen, the N word. He, I said the N word. He, he winked at me. I get it. It's for content, but don't. Hey, y'all no, got. No, nah, no, y'all have neighbors. Me, I, call, though, I gotta keep y'all close. I call Pokemon the N word. My bad. What do you want to do? I'm not. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want anything to happen to him. But like, yo. Okay. Do you want to press charges? Let's flip a coin. Let's ask Siri. Let's ask Siri. Is this your house? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? We're not here to play games. Flip a coin. What do you want to do? Heads, we send him to jail. Tail. No. Hey, he's not going to jail. Get inside your house, man. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. I think that guy should get a medal, frankly, and go to jail. That's ridiculous. That's preposterous. What the fuck? Enough. 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 What the fuck are you doing? Let's serious, Jack. Enough. Come on, come on. Come I done too much. Okay, okay. Bitch, I just man. want to see what happens when I flip the coin. Jack. Flip a coin. Fuck. Everyone's calling. Flip a 
coin. Crap, run. It's tails. So he's good. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Everyone's on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, no, one, no one wants to cooperate. We're good. We're good. We're good. No one wants to cooperate. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it John Zerka? I'll go inside. He won't shake my hand. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Wait, can you not say any of my personal information out loud? Because. That's fine. Well, tell him to stop streaming. Uh, but we have to. I just got slapped at him. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. Sorry. This guy is not socially calibrated. Can you please tell? Can you please not tell any of my personal information? Okay, stop streaming. No, I can't. Enough to operate in society. <sighs> Neon just doesn't know when to shut his mouth. I think we all know somebody like that in real life. But Jack, on the other hand, has actual content brain rot. He needs to be locked in a cage. This is no game. I mean, yeah, I agree. Jack is worse than Neon. Like exponentially worse. Right now, everything has changed. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to make a report because of what you're saying. Okay? I had nothing happened. Actually. Okay. What's your yeah, name? Um, do we have to make a report? We have to. What will, ha what will happen? And she's Whatever she's you want to happen, you could say. Would you lock him in? If you want your information to be in. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So <laughs> listen. He's a thirty-year-old man. Saying, how about, care care about him? Doesn't matter. I'm talking to you. Info. Okay. What I'm saying, asking you. Damn, I can't believe. I feel bad for these police officers. We all judge police officers based on their worst interaction, but look at this. I mean, this is insane. I, I feel terrible for these guys. You said he slapped you. We're gonna have to sign a paper it's that fine, says. Can you hide that so they can't see it? Listen okay. to what I'm saying. It's You're fine, streaming. You're choosing to do that. I'm yeah. not here to right, play right. games with you. Okay. You're saying he slapped you. If you don't want to go to jail, you'll have to sign a waiver that says your waiver is prosecution. Is that what you're going to do? Yes or no? Oh, bro, my number's on these notes. What I'm asking you, right. are you going to oh. prosecute or are you not? Uh, I don't want to put charges on Okay, me. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a paper to sign and you just simply say you're not going to prosecute. Okay? But can we just on the papers call him a little bitch? I'm sorry. So, uh, the floor. I'm making it so. Pr Bro, I miss the old days when police officers were able to commit pl pr pr uh, police brutality without question. Prime doesn't have to go to jail. Everyone better follow no. me for this because Prime's not going to jail after s sucker slapping listen, me. Listen, I'm sorry, I haven't got all night, okay? I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Wait, where do I do it? Sign right here, waiver of prosecution. You write your name. Here? Yes. I. I'm so sorry. I don't Just arrest this guy for something. There's got to be something he's doing, like in, uh, in, impeding like a police investigation or something. There's got to be some fucking thing that you can arrest this kid for and bring him to jail. This is insane. I don't want to get arrested. Please, I'm going to comply. Please. All right. Officer Act, where are you? Oh. Request that. What's his name? And you sign sign a bottom right here. A victim. Bottom? Vic bottom. Victim. Sign. I'm the victim? Thank God. I don't feel like the victim right now. I feel like I'm the... <laughs> I want to try. All right, we good? Oh, sorry. Oh, you see, like, we're water rails behind a hospital. Here you go. What's that? I'm going to get a case number. 15, you have a case number, please. Yeah. All right, guys, Prime just sucker punched me. Like, really slapped me while I was looking at my phone out of nowhere. And cops happened to be here because we got swatted, but I didn't press charges, but the stream was crazy. He never stops. And it just reminds me that he's proving Dr. Phil of all people right two years later. His main points were that Jack wastes police time and resources. I'm not I don't want to, I don't want to. Tell him to stop streaming. Uh, we have yeah, to. But him, even him getting uh, swatted, it's his fault. Like there, obviously if you're a, a content creator and maybe you stream and stuff and you get swatted, it's like generally not your fault. You have some troll fans doing some shit, but this kid's always having this happen. Like this is the kind of shit he wants. He likes this kind of stuff. He wants to get swatted. He wants to get some kind of a controversy surrounding his name so people will continue to watch. But it's going to get to a point where he's going to get older and it's going to be pathetic, even more pathetic than it is now. People are going to tune out. This audience is going to grow old. That's the thing too. His audience will grow older and they'll mature because this is just them you know, watching him every once in a while to see what crazy stuff he's doing. But his audience will get older and they'll be like, wow, like, why did I ever watch this fucking loser? What's he doing now? And then like, oh, he's going to be doing 24-7 live streams and like an RV fucking assaulting people. And he's going to be like a drug addict and people are going to be like, oh, wow. Wow, that's pathetic. That's that's what his life is going to turn out to be. So, I just got slapped at him. okay, listen to what I'm saying. Sorry. This is no games right now. He's always pushing the boundaries for views, plugging himself even in serious situations. Oh. Oh. Everyone, follow me on kick. The only good thing he says about Jack is that he doesn't flex his money. I don't flaunt my money or anything. Like I don't. Literally, like you would never know. I like I have. That. Like I don't. He never. I flaunts. literally. And that's not even true anymore. That's his dad. Dad, you suck. You are a worthless father. You are a fucking idiot, loser, piece of shit. What a fucking dumbass. Like the dad. Like, dude, I don't understand. How are you gonna let your kid act this way? That's insane to me. That's just embarrassing. That's all he does now. It's only fighting with people. Like, look, I have, I have Lambos to lose. You know. Hey, you know what? F let me boost my ego real quick. I'm putting on my rich and no. Now that we're done fighting, I'm putting my jewelry back on. I'm rich.
This would really cost a Lambo f***ing prime, you broke f***ing. He's always flashing how much money he spent on his credit card. He does this because he sells this scam $10 million course. I'm going to tell you guys how much money I make because now I have over 11 million subscribers on YouTube and 10 million followers on TikTok. And subscribers on uh yeah so a lot of things are different now including my friends because they keep asking me for money so i had to figure out a way to teach my friends how to make as much money as me so i spent the last couple months creating a course that shows you how i was able to make over 10 million dollars at just 19 years old and for a limited time it's only 97 dollars at eightfigureinfluence.com and for less than one of these i can show you how i was able to get all of these crazy between andrew tate sneeko and jack all of them sell courses where the only person who gets rich is them i'd be surprised if there was a single person that Pretty made a thousand dollars off of Jack's course, let alone 10 million. Hey, hey, help! At the end of the day, I feel like Neon and Jack are products of wanting to do anything for social media fame. I have a lot more to say about these two, especially when it comes to their lack of real friends. Everyone's just a leech. Oh, and their fake pranks that have caused me. Oh, absolutely. The no, none of them are gonna. None of them are going to be around Jack the second that he's not relevant anymore. Of course, thousand percent. Real world pain. I literally just met my girlfriend's dad today, and I'm gonna ask him for permission to marry his daughter. All they've really seen in me is my crazy live streams and the fact that I put their daughter in the hospital last week. I'm really nervous, and I'm not really sure how this is gonna. Yeah, I don't feel bad for her either. She's a fucking moron too. And her, so are her parents. You're gonna let you're gonna let your daughter date this guy? Like you, uh, great take. They go so like and subscribe for good luck. And when he was alone outside, I asked him this. Hello, Mr. Richardson. I got a question for you. What's that? Uh, can I marry your daughter? <laughs> for real? You just put her in the hospital last week. You think I'm gonna support that? It was an accident. You're an accident. But that will yes. have to be for another time. Subscribe to the channel, and if you can, join the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Riveter, Christina Vina, Mech Monkey, Drink Kobex, Bo Blacks, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Friday 13, Abby Blackbird, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz Fitz, Christopher H, First name last name kinklemore and the mega homies reynold hughes hellison igp zombie fox your taxi latchkey goth boy cyber katie lore reloaded papa gut kaden lulin Luis g that's me baby all right good video